Imagine a towering bridge, a symbol of human ingenuity collapsing into a raging river, or a bustling hotel lobby filled with life and laughter suddenly transformed into a scene of chaos and despair. These images, though tragic, serve as stark reminders of the importance of learning from engineering failures. When structures fail, they provide invaluable lessons about the limits of our knowledge and the importance of constant vigilance. By studying these failures, we gain a deeper understanding of the complex interplay of forces, materials, and human decisions that shape our built environment. In this essay, we will delve into two iconic engineering disasters, the Tacoma Narrows Bridge Collapse and the Hyatt Regency Walkway Collapse. Through these case studies we will explore the causes of structural failures, the devastating consequences of engineering oversights, and the transformative lessons that have emerged from these tragedies. Finally, we will look towards the future, exploring how ongoing innovation, rigorous inspection, and a commitment to continuous learning are essential to preventing future disasters and building a safer, more resilient world. The Tacoma Narrows Bridge, once hailed as a marvel of modern engineering, met a spectacular demise on November 7, 1940. Just four months after its grand opening, the bridge succumbed to a perfect storm of design flaws and environmental factors, becoming a symbol of the unforgiving nature of physics and the importance of thorough engineering analysis. The bridge's collapse was triggered by a phenomenon known as aerodynamic instability. Its slender design and shallow stiffening girders made it highly susceptible to wind-induced oscillations on the fateful day, moderate winds caused the bridge to sway and twist with alarming intensity. This swaying motion, amplified by a phenomenon known as resonance, proved fatal. The frequency of the wind gusts aligned with the bridge's natural frequency, creating a feedback loop that magnified the oscillations until the structure could no longer withstand the stress. The Tacoma Narrows Bridge disaster highlighted the crucial role of wind tunnel testing in bridge design. Prior to this tragedy, wind effects were not fully understood or adequately accounted for in many bridge designs. The collapse served as a wake-up call for the engineering community, leading to significant advancements in the understanding of aerodynamics and the development of more robust bridge designs. On July 17, 1981, a festive atmosphere at the Hyatt Regency Hotel in Kansas City, Missouri, turned to horror as two suspended walkways collapsed into the crowded atrium below. This catastrophe, which claimed 114 lives and injured over 200 people, stands as a stark reminder of the devastating consequences of engineering miscalculations and communication breakdowns. The collapse stemmed from a seemingly minor design change during construction. This alteration, however, doubled the load on a critical set of support rods, ultimately leading to their failure. The tragedy was compounded by a breakdown in communication between the design team and the construction crew. The original design, though flawed, was altered without proper review or approval from the engineers. This miscommunication highlights the vital importance of clear and consistent communication between all parties involved in a construction project. The Hyatt Regency walkway collapse led to significant changes in building codes and regulations. It underscored the need for rigorous design reviews, independent inspections, and clear lines of responsibility throughout the construction process. While dramatic collapses like the Tacoma Narrows Bridge and Hyatt Regency Walkway capture headlines, many structural failures result from the slow, insidious effects of material fatigue and corrosion. These often invisible processes can weaken structures over time, increasing the risk of sudden and catastrophic failure. Material fatigue occurs when a material is subjected to repeated stress cycles, even if the stresses are below the material's yield strength. Over time, these cycles can cause microscopic cracks to form and grow, eventually leading to fracture. Corrosion on the other hand, is a chemical or electrochemical reaction that degrades a material's properties. Factors like exposure to moisture, salt and pollutants can accelerate corrosion, compromising a structure's integrity. The Silver Bridge collapse in 1967, which killed 46 people, serves as a stark reminder of the dangers of corrosion. A single eye bar, weakened by unnoticed corrosion, snapped under the weight of rush hour traffic, sending the bridge plunging into the icy Ohio River. The human element, mistakes with massive consequences. Engineering disasters are rarely, if ever, caused by a single factor. While design flaws and material failures play a role, human error is often a contributing factor. From miscalculations to communication breakdowns, human mistakes can have catastrophic consequences 
in the realm of structural engineering. Faulty calculations, whether due to simple arithmetic errors or the use of incorrect formulas, can lead to an underestimation of loads or an overestimation of material strength. These errors can have dire consequences as seen in the collapse of a walkway in a Connecticut casino in 1978, which was attributed to errors in the design calculations. Incorrect design choices such as selecting materials unsuitable for the intended environment or failing to account for all potential loads can compromise a structure's integrity. The collapse of the Quebec Bridge in 1907 which killed 75 workers was partly attributed to the use of a design that was too lightweight for the bridge's intended span. Learning from disaster a catalyst for innovation. Every engineering failure no matter how tragic offers valuable lessons that can drive innovation and improve future designs. The collapses of the Tacoma Narrows Bridge and the Hyatt Regency Walkway, for example, led to significant advancements in our understanding of wind dynamics, material science, and construction practices. The Tacoma Narrows Bridge disaster spurred extensive research into aerodynamic instability and the development of wind tunnel testing as a standard practice in bridge design. Today, bridges are designed to be more streamlined and aerodynamically stable, withstanding wind forces that would have crippled older structures. The Hyatt Regency walkway collapse prompted stricter building codes and regulations, emphasizing the importance of thorough design reviews, independent inspections, and rigorous quality control during construction. This tragedy also highlighted the need for clear communication and coordination among all parties involved in a construction project. These examples demonstrate that engineering failures, while devastating, can serve as catalysts for progress. By studying these events, identifying the root causes and implementing corrective measures, we can learn from our mistakes and strive to prevent similar tragedies in the future. Building a safer future. Embracing resilience and sustainability. As we look to the future of structural engineering, it is clear that innovation, rigorous standards, and a commitment to continuous learning will be paramount in preventing disasters and creating a safer built environment. Emerging technologies, sustainable practices, and a focus on resilience are shaping the future of engineering, leading to structures that are not only stronger, but also more adaptable and environmentally responsible. Advanced computer modeling and simulation tools allow engineers to test designs virtually under a wide range of conditions, identifying potential weaknesses and optimizing structural integrity before construction even begins. This allows for the creation of innovative structural systems that can withstand extreme loads and environmental conditions. New materials such as high-performance concrete and fiber-reinforced polymers offer increased strength, durability, and resistance to corrosion. These materials can extend the lifespan of structures, reducing the need for costly repairs and replacements. Engineering a better tomorrow. The responsibility for preventing engineering failures and ensuring the safety of our built environment rests not only on the shoulders of engineers but on society as a whole. From policymakers to educators to the general public, we all have a role to play in fostering a culture of safety, innovation, and ethical engineering practice. Policymakers must enact and enforce building codes and regulations that reflect the latest advancements in engineering knowledge and prioritize public safety. Adequate funding for research and development is crucial to driving innovation and pushing the boundaries of structural engineering. Educators have a responsibility to train the next generation of engineers to be not only technically proficient but also ethically responsible and keenly aware of the societal impact of their work. Instilling a sense of professional responsibility and a commitment to lifelong learning is essential in shaping engineers who prioritize safety and sustainability. The general public must also be aware of the importance of engineering in our daily lives and advocate for policies that support responsible infrastructure development and maintenance. By demanding high standards of safety and sustainability, we can collectively contribute to a future where engineering failures are minimized and our built environment is a testament to human ingenuity and resilience.